If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Lens Correction Filter in Photoshop helps you correct many different lens distortions that can happen when taking photos. It can also straighten images and correct chromatic aberration and vignetting issues. To apply lens correction in Photoshop, select the raster layer or smart object layer to which to apply the filter in the layers panel. Then select Filter, Lens Correction from the menu bar to open the Lens Correction dialog box. The Lens Correction dialog box shows a large preview of the image with an overlying grid. You can change the appearance of the preview and grid using the buttons and settings in the lower left corner of the dialog box if needed. A toolbar of distortion correcting tools appears at the left side of the dialog box, and two panels of correction options appear at the right side of the dialog box. To move the grid on screen if needed, Click the Move Grid Tool button in the toolbar at the left side of the dialog box, and then click and drag in the preview image to move the position of the grid over the photo. To pan or zoom the photo within the preview window, use the Hand Tool or Zoom Tool buttons respectively in the same toolbar. There are also zoom controls below and to the left of the preview image. To apply automatic lens corrections for the photo, click the Auto Correction tab at the right side of the screen. Check the desired available automatic corrections to apply in the correction section and enable or disable auto scaling by checking or unchecking the Auto Scale Image checkbox. If enabled, you can then select the Edge Fill Type from the Edge dropdown. To select the lens, use the Camera Make. Camera Model, and or Lens Model dropdowns to select the list of available lenses in the Lens Profile list below the dropdowns. Then click to select the lens profile to apply in this list. Alternatively, to manually apply lens corrections, use the Tools in the toolbar, and or click the Custom tab at the right side of the Lens Correction dialog box. To correct the geometric distortions of lens barrel, which is a bloated center of an image caused by wide-angle lenses, or pin cushion, which is when an image appears pinched in the center, which can be caused by zoom lenses, either click the Remove Distortion tool in the toolbar at the left side of the screen, and then drag towards or away from the center, respectively, or Click and drag the Remove Distortion slider in the Geometric Distortion section of the Custom tab at the right side of the dialog box to the right or left, respectively. To manually fix chromatic aberrations, use the Fix Red Slash Cyan Fringe. Fix green slash magenta fringe and or fix blue slash yellow fringe sliders in the chromatic aberrations section of the custom tab at the right side of the lens correction dialog box to correct the respective chromatic aberration fringes. Alternatively, you can enter values into their adjacent fields. To adjust vignetting in the image, use the Amount slider in the Vignette section of the Custom tab to set the amount of light or dark vignetting to apply. To change the Vignette Midpoint, use the Midpoint slider in this same section. Alternatively, you can also enter values into either field. To apply perspective corrections, 
use the vertical perspective and or horizontal perspective sliders in the transform section of the custom tab or enter values into their adjacent fields. To straighten the image, use the Angle Rotation button to select the degrees of rotation to apply to the image, or enter that value into its adjacent field. Alternatively, to manually straighten the image using the Straighten tool, click the Straighten Tool button in the toolbar at the left side of the Lens Correction dialog box. Then click and drag a line across the image and release the mouse button to rotate the image along the line that you drew. To change the scaling of the image, use the Scale slider in the Transform section of the Custom tab or enter a scaling percentage into its adjacent field. To apply any corrections made within the Lens Correction dialog box, Click the OK button in the upper right corner of the Lens Correction dialog box. Alternatively, to cancel any corrections and close the dialog box, click the Cancel button. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.